I main fresh support now. It's a weird change going from fresh top, mid, ADC, jungle. Despite the big AD ratio, the infinite scaling on his effect, and decent AP ratios, focusing on fresh's utility lets you confidently perform plays harder to achieve by the other roles, and more often too. Guys, I think I'm onto something. Like, yeah. So I do main fresh top, and decided to start playing more support recently, for some reason. But it's not like I'm playing it just for jokes real quick. I'm genuinely trying to play it properly most of the time, and suppose I have a very rare perspective of someone going from maining damage or bruiser fresh to full support. For most people, it's the other way around of starting with support and then thinking, actually fresh top sounds kind of funny, and first timing that. In top, if you start losing, it can feel anywhere between, oh, okay I guess to, I'm so useless, I can't do anything anymore, why aren't we voting to surrender? But on support, it feels less about whether you can influence the game or not, but more rephrasing your answer to how you'll influence the game or not. The sad reality is if you can determine your AD carry is a bit problematic, you might just have to buy Moby Boots and leave. They'll hate you more than they already do for it, but it's for the good of the game, probably. Okay, let's be honest, we just don't like our AD carry sometimes. Part of this is because of these fancy things called support items, which are probably one of my most hated additions to the game as they got buffed over the years, going from a nice way to let support afford their Philosopher's Stones, to helping Morgana rush her Leandries, leave her AD carry and try to be the carry herself. <laughs> but now I'm in the support driver's seat, I can't help but want to do the same thing on occasion. Uh, it's for mandate, to support you, see? What definitely didn't help is that probably, due to my literal decade of playing fresh top and other offense-oriented roles, this keeps happening. I don't know what it is, but in top lane I get kills on the tower every now and then, but in bot lane they just can't help but try and dive after they get a kill on the AD carry who got caught. And what, am I supposed to buy Locket with that? No, no, if Pike and Senna can build Lethality, I can build a goddamn Death Cap if I want. Yes, don't build Death Cap. Don't worry though. I was a support player in the past, even if I never really played fresh there at all, so at least I understand how to support and what they're supposed to actually do. And I played before the addition of Pike as a champion, and Morgan Lux were cemented as supports rather than mid laners, and Zyra became a Leandries on legs. Or roots. What are these things? Does anyone else miss Zyra's old passive? So I definitely understand what I should be doing and building on fresh supports, I'm just down to innovate sometimes. The shock value of my damage builds and experience when playing fresh did lead to a lot of funny cheeky kills on support that get my teammates to pug out, but that doesn't always work out long term. The best ways to play support were always to support. If that means fulfilling a tank role, then that's something I'll do. I've been running ghosts a lot in top lane for the past few years, so I've kind of missed saying fuck it and flash hooking. It's nice to be able to sit back and focus on utility rather than how I can ultra kill some poor squishy who didn't know I was in a bush every now and then. But I guess the unique thing is, I don't find these innovations to be completely wrong on fresh support. You'll feel your own mortality for sure, you'll wish you had Locket to defend your team sometimes, but it's ingrained in me that fresh's versatility is one of his best and underrated traits. I'm not about to ruin games by insisting on full AD fresh support, nor do I want that to be the takeaway for you watching either. Maybe if I do somehow end up with more money than I should have, and we already have tanks on the team, an Imperial Mandate for some extra magic damage isn't a terrible fit. A lot of AP items like Cosmic Drive have good ability haste which never goes amiss, and takedowns I can secure but not necessarily steal means fewer cooldowns the rest of our team have to blow straight away. Or they can do it anyway I guess. For some people, fun means playing funny off metas to chill, and fresh top would work for a lot of people in that sense, but since I already main fresh top to the point of him being my meta, playing support ends up being the funny thing for me. I don't have to last hit anymore, I can focus on hooking and peeling more than poking or bursting, and other than dealing with an AD carry it's pretty stressless. Oh, and yeah, support is definitely the better role to play, and a great break from the usual for me. But there's a reason I've played fresh top for so long, and it's not because it's good. Sometimes, fresh support with randoms can feel awful and unfair. Where the enemy pike can just leave his AD carry behind to go be the carry himself and just kind of get away with it, while I'm sitting here, unrewarded for all the care and attention I've given this creature. Oh! But he's getting overconfident, trying to kill the rest of my team by himself. Now he's just walked into a 1v2 between me and my AD carry. <laughs> we'll make quick work of this, won't we Tristana? Tristana? I'm building AD next time. But I'm really underselling how good it feels to be paired with an AD carry you actually work well with. This Yasuo was super chill even when I was kinda hard on myself for missing hooks I feel like I could've hit yet we're still just slapping our opponents with this mutual understanding of the level of aggro we want. 
Unfortunately, most of these normals aren't going to late game when we're winning, uh, because that's just how normal games are. And I swear, they only go to late game when we're on the losing side because I'm not surrendering. Step eight, Reznor. Freedom! For you, Mason! Not for me! Reznor! This video is just an April Fool's joke since I main fresh anywhere but support. And I've kind of stolen Uncle Dane's April Fool's idea from last year where he said he mains Pyro instead of Engineer. Really good video if you like TF2 by the way. But no matter how this video started out, support can be pretty fun and chill to play. I've never minded filling in support most of the time, but I'm fairly happy to add it back into my main repertoire. Just don't expect any support fresh guides from me. That market's kind of saturated. Unless you want to know how to play AP or AD fresh support, I can help you with that. I shouldn't, but I could. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy April Fools. I uploaded an ultra kill video yesterday. Go watch that, maybe. But if you just want League stuff, I've definitely got you covered there. Just check the end screen links after I shout out these cool people. Shoutouts to the members, AJGBeat91, Warsquid, Ultimate Ground, Kaide, my dad, N Era, Gentleman Zeta, Luna Eagle 1996, 53rd Alabama Booty Obi Wan Kenobi, AC Immortal, Mr. Noodle, and Bass1378. Once again, thank you guys for supporting the channel.